What's going on, guys? Oh, you died, bro. You died. What's going on, guys? Sorry about that intro. My gimbal actually died, so I do not have a gimbal to film this, but I still will be filming on my iPhone. As you guys can see, I'm in front of Bass Pro Shops, and I actually have a really neat video. I was driving here because I needed to get tackled, but I also have a better idea, and we can discuss that inside. But first, I really got to go to the bathroom, so let's go ahead and get inside. First of all, guys, I would like to say the music might be a little bit loud and just try to ignore that, but this is what we're going to be doing in today's video. I have trouble with when I go to ponds that I don't have the tackle that I need. As you guys know, most of the videos that I make, I usually don't have the tackle with me that I need. I'm pretty much just throwing really whatever I have with me in my truck, whatever it is. But I'm coming up with a solution today to solve that where I will have some baits to have you know, no matter where I go. So pretty much I'm going to buy a tackle box today and put a little bit of everything that I need just directed towards you know traveling around and pond fishing. And I'm going to have everything I need in my truck and there won't be any more complaining going back to the boat, grabbing different baits, bringing them back. It's all gonna be compact in one box. Let's go ahead and get this started. All right guys, so first off, we're gonna start over here by some of the hooks and weights. As you guys know, one of my recent videos went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I already bought some um, standard, you know, bullet head weights and BWG hooks. I'm just gonna get some shaky heads for right now um, that we're gonna have in the box because, you know, always when I'm pond fishing, I'm gonna need some shaky heads. We're gonna go with this one fourth ounce right here. Actually, let's go with, um, yeah, one fourth ounce would be good. And if you guys are looking for some, these spot removers, you can actually find these at Walmart as well. So you don't have to go to like Bass Bros, Cabela's, etc. wherever you're going. You can actually find these at Walmart and they're fairly priced as well. I mean, you get a five pack for like $6 and that's pretty good price compared to other ones. You usually get like three for $5. So spot removers. All right guys, moving on to the next aisle. We're gonna be looking at spinner baits. I've been wanting to get some. I actually have one spinner bait that Isaac gave me and I ended up breaking it. I caught so many fish on it. So we're gonna go with, I'm gonna get a smaller one. So this one, what's that? This is 3 16th. Also gonna go with a half. I'm gonna go with two 3 16ths because I usually, I don't have too many, you know, smaller spinner baits. All white and chartreuse by Booyah. Reasonably priced, that'd be good. All right guys, as you guys know, I already got some regular hooks and weights. And this is a, the Dick Sporting Goods video. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check that out. I'm actually gonna get some Senkos. And then this one, I'm getting some that are red and black. I know most of you guys know in dirty water, you guys are gonna use Junebug, you know, black and blue. This is darker colors with blue or Junebug. Um, black and red's actually another good color that not many people use and it can catch a lot of fish. Next time you guys need to try it when you're on the water. Also, I got some Shaky head worms. These are some Magnum shaky head worms by Zoom. These are standard in June bug. That's one I'm gonna pair up. This bad boy just slipped right through. It's just, just a little perfect pothole for him. I wanna pair the shaky head worms on the spot remover shaky head. So June bug shaky head worms. Then we got the black and red Sankos. Moving on to an old rattle trap. This is actually Red Eye Shad by Strike King. If you guys haven't tried out this color, it's a ghost minnow. I've caught plenty of fish on this shad imitation right here. Great color. I've caught a ton of fish on that color. Not specifically in the rattle traps, but in some 6XDs, 5XDs. That ghost minnow color is golden. I haven't tried in a rattle trap yet, so I'm gonna try it out. This is at the ounce. If you guys watch some of our Fishing for River Monster series videos, you guys know but this old DT6 right here, I could barely even buy this thing last year. There's so many people coming and buying it. And now they got a full shelf full of them. Once I get back out on the river, I'm sure I'm going to need some of those crankbaits. All right, guys, I'm going to actually get some swim baits. As you guys know, I've been throwing fish head spins all the time. One little trick, I promise you, when you're buying your baits, try to look for the package. This is for zoom baits. This is usually only zoom baits. And the ones that are like raveled up like that, I promise you, like almost every single one is gonna be like crooked and it's not gonna run right. So try to look for the ones that are more straight. That one's not even, I'm gonna have to go look for a pack that's more lined up because even the ones that are turned like that, they've been packaged like that for a minute. I know this sounds bizarre, but I'm telling you, <laughs> all, almost all of them would be messed up. So try to look for the package that they're all like straight, straightly aligned in. Just like that, that one's a, I mean, that's a pretty good package. You know, they're pretty, pretty straight right there. I don't know if they got another one guys but as you can tell they have all these rod holders here this one's only like 30 bucks and i have a lot of rods in my garage and if you guys like lean rods against the wall you guys know every single rod's gonna fall over so i have like rods like all over my garage just like laid out 
This is only like 30 bucks. If they have another one, I'm gonna buy it. Ugh. Look at this thing, guys. It. I saw this for a minute and it was like propped up like this and I was saying like it keeps your poles in there like when you're fishing. This is actually like when you're pond fishing, like as you can tell, it has, you pretty much lean it down you put all your rods in it. This is like an, this is brilliant. Like I'm not gonna lie, if I'm at a pond like holding on my rods, like I've had points of time where I like put them like on my back and stuff. Like you could literally set them all in here and like carry them to like your next spot like where you're pond fishing. You just set them down then you have, then you grab your other rod. You're all good to go. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. They do not have this one, by the way, the $29.99, but they do have this one right here, which is $31.99. I'm gonna buy this bad boy. They have it right here. I'm gonna get that. I just wanted to show you guys this, because this is honestly a brilliant invention. Like, this is sick. For you guys that pond fish, that have a lot of rods. Bash Pro Shops did it again with the $100 ticket. We got this bad boy right here the holder rods got the baits in the bag i'm gonna take them home i'm gonna film the whole thing let's go ahead and get in the car all right guys just got home i'm gonna go over pretty much what i got from bass pro shops pretty much everything and just rebrief on everything that i bought except for the rod holders i might add that into a vlog of me putting that together because i'm not going to do it at this moment i have some other things to do right now but i'm going to go through the baits and pretty much why i bought these and how they're going to be so versatile with um, me going to these pots and everything. So the first thing are these Senkos, like I was talking about, these are red and black Senkos. Like I said, if you guys haven't tried these, give them a try next time. Instead of throwing Junebug or black and blue, these red and black ones, I promise you work so good in dirty water. Like if you're throwing a Junebug or a black and blue, I'm assuming you're fishing dirty water, muddy water. Give these a try guys. I'm telling you, these work really great, especially like on the river, I've used them and they're phenomenal. And the, and the fish are, you know, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you, comparing red and black to black and blue, it's not too much of a difference, but sometimes on certain days it can be. So give that a try, because most of the time people are actually throwing black and blue. Moving on to the spinner baits, I actually got three Booyah spinner baits. I got two 3 16th ounce and one half ounce, and these are white and chartreuse, all of them. And they're just willow leaf blades, um, gold. So I got I got two smaller ones because I usually don't um, have any smaller spinner baits. Most of the spinner baits I own are half ounce anyways. Um, so that's what I got there. I got some June bug shaky head worms to put on the shaky head. If you guys haven't tried the shaky head worms by Zoom, they're actually really good. You know, I have the, like the pointy tail. I've had a lot of luck on these, especially on different colors on different lakes, but most of the ponds I fish are very dirty water and that's in resulting why I had got June bug. The paddle tails by Zoom, these are just standard swimming flukes. Um, and white pearl. I will put these on the back of my fish head spin. If you guys watch a lot of my videos, you guys know I recommend um, Reaction Innovations, White Trash, Little Dippers. Those things are honestly the best swim baits out there. They're better than those right there, in my opinion. You know, this plastic's still soft, but it's a lot tougher. They last longer, has a lot better movement, in my opinion. But <laughs> Bass Pro Shops won't sell Reaction Innovation baits because if you guys have not seen it, the packaging actually has naked girls all over it. Yeah, naked girls all over the packaging. The names are just hilarious on there. Like they just have some dirty names and Bass Pro Shops won't allow it there. But if you guys are looking for some Reaction Innovation stuff, uh, they actually carry it at Dick's Sporting Goods. So you can go check it out there. And lastly, I got ooh, these spot remover shaky heads. Like I said, these are very inexpensive. And these are half ounce, or no, those aren't half ounce. These are one fourth ounce, my bad. And also Ghost Minnow or Ghost Shad and the Red Eye Shad by Strike King. These rattle traps, you know, very inexpensive. I talk so fast, guys, I don't even know where I'm going. These rattle traps are actually very inexpensive. I mostly go with the Red Eye Shad series um, by Strike King. And lastly, I got me some Buffalo Wing, big sunflower seeds. And that is everything I got at Bass Pro Shops. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys are grinding every single day to be the best you could be at everything in life. I got a busy weekend, guys. I got a lot of schoolwork to get done because I've been just doing different things and I really need to just focus and get the schoolwork done. So overall, guys, if you guys want to see more tackle videos, if you guys want to see more videos at Bass Pro Shops, Walmart, um, Cabela, honestly, leave a tackle place or a place where they sell ta sell tackle leave it below and i'll have to go there next because i know you guys just love these tackle videos videos so be sure to smash the like button comment below and subscribe and hit the little bell because it really helps out my channel but thank you guys so much for the support and i'll catch you guys
Ah, my legs are so sore, guys. Catch you guys in the next video. Please like this video. Please comment below your goals for 2018. I want every single one of you to comment at least one goal. And I want you guys to go execute and achieve that goal. Don't be normal. We're going to change the world, guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video.